All right, we are recording. Hey, bunny. Hey, hey kitty. What's up? We're at SoCal Honda in Carson, and uh, we're gonna go look at some bikes. We'll take you guys inside. Dana is gonna be it's a good the camera cool. woman today. There she is, Max Riss pink shirt. You know it. Max Riss pink panty, uh, fanny pack that she just got in. Oh, check out her yeah. She is loving the pink fanny pack. I love it. All right, here's the thing. All right, let's go. You said you did them in black and pink too, right? Yeah. I may have to order me a black and pink this and I can, if you want a special design, like if you want the the Maxra smaller in a smaller pattern, I can do it that way too. Okay. We can do all kinds of things. All right, let's do it, and then I'll get Kitty a white and pink one like yours, but we'll change it a little bit. Okay. Cool. What do we got here? Oh, I don't know. Just blazer. They are ready. Get you. Okay. Got the shirt. I just heard oh, them say Maxwell. <laughs> <Max Riss. laughs> Sexy bike, I don't know. Right? Yeah, I like it. The bars are very low, very aggressive. Right out of the box. Stance in it, yeah. 214 horsepower. It's a really aggressive position. I mean, these bars are so much lower. Really? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Compared to the BMW, I think the BMWs are a little bit more out, but I think they're higher. This feels really that one. Africa Yeah, but there's like Where the peg? So that guy yeah. crashed into your bike, huh? Yeah. Oh. He didn't crash into my bike, he crashed into the Can Am Spider. His bike crashed into my bike. Oh, yeah. yeah. It sideswiped it, so I will be getting uh, another bike probably. I don't know. I haven't heard from insurance yet on the final, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be totaled because it's got some spring damage to it, so I'm pretty sure that's that. So I am going to be getting something. I don't think this is it, though. No? No, I don't think so. Um. I like the BMW. I haven't rode this, but uh, I don't know. 
you want to ride that, you can ride that. Um, I, I don't want to ride it. <laughs> Why? Are you kidding me? You know what? I didn't even bring my helmet today. Not even, so I, I'm not. See that wall right there? See that wall? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, he's getting all the excuses out of me. I know, right? I'm interested in something else today. I think you know what it is. So. All right, let's go over right here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do something a little smaller. Man, you got another SP that punches you in the face when you come around the corner. Yeah. So this is our mini bike section. Yep, your mini bike looks great. <laughs> See? Can't get away from it. All right, this is what I'm interested in. Little kind of transformer troll looking thing. Let's take a seat on this one and yeah. see how that feels. Oh, that feels a lot more manageable than the, the uh, fire blue does. It's not quite as fast. Almost. <laughs> not quite, almost. Yeah, give me a percentage. Like five? Um, I, I read it was nine horsepower. Can you hold these for me? Or stick them in your pocket? 214. Can you hold these for me? Nine. Yeah. Isn't that, that's crazy. You could, probably, you could probably still beat me if you were on this. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think you would max pass me. <laughs> Get some wheelie. Mm -hmm. um, just don't put the center in the one, right? Like, Easy. Uh, yeah, so did you see the guy that went into my bike? He was on the, uh, on the fire plate. He changed the setting right before he did this wheelie. And he changed the power setting to the highest level. Yeah, and then yeah I'm just looking at the wheelie. <laughs> yeah. He had been riding in the power setting four all day, and then he put it into one right before he loop. It's the wrist. It's, it's always the wrist. <laughs> Casey. I like him. I know, right? He's pretty cool. So Casey has modified hundreds of these. Oh, wow. Okay. So Casey's an expert. I got one outside right now. The modified ones? Yeah, but it's a, it's a Macaui version, but I have one outside right now that I'm, that I'm tuning. What kind of modification are you doing to it? Uh, that one has a new transmission, uh, or the one that has a new transmission, a new head, race head, um, and a big board kit as well. Why would you need a new transmission on it? They have like five speeds and like six speeds you can throw in there, just like for longer gearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, I mean, it's not that much longer. Yeah. But it helps. Maybe Especially. help you get on the highway? Yeah, it helps if you do like a big board kit and you're going to like from the 125 to like 180. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so short that you're going to want like at least one more gear in there and you're going to want a little bit longer so once you reach that you know, third top speed. Yeah, I heard the top speed is 60. It's, you can redline it at 67 if you're... If you're fully tucked. If you're fully tucked and you're really lucky to catch that really tailwind. Yeah, that downhill, yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll get you going. I like the size of it. It feels really cool. Casey, you want to show us the room? Yeah, I can show you. Yeah, let's show them. It's a little dusty. It's been dusted off. Everything's dusty. Oh, man. It's been like, it's been like a good year and a half. <laughs> it was just sitting in the garage. I saw those for sale on the website. It's actually my girl. Those are pretty cool. Um, but...
That's mine as well. Easy hooning though. I gotta wait. My leg is still like uh, not fully there yet. It's doing a lot better. A lot better. So, I don't think I'll be uh, trying to crash it, but I'll be. You doing something? Probably riding it pretty aggressively. Okay. This works exhaust looks great. Yeah, the works exhaust. Is not, they're a little pricey, but uh, I mean, works makes good stuff. Yeah. They're always. They're this always is uh, an aftermarket shock gun there. Yeah. Who's that by? Um, it's a Taiwan company. They work on like um, smaller motors, like the 300s and the 400s and below. Have you ever dynoed it? I think this dynoed originally stock at like seven or like 6.9, and then uh, I think uh, the last time we dynoed it, I think it hit like 13.7. So almost double. <laughs> almost double. That's impressive. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. And that's good you put the work in on it? Yeah, big yeah. work in the race head on it. And then got the, the valve cutouts done and everything kind of machined and cleaned up. Double and the horsepower is impressive. It, it is. <laughs> I'm always afraid it's going to blow super. up. That's <laughs> super. Yeah. I'm afraid it's going to blow up, but it hasn't yet, so, you know. <laughs> that's good. I am. The, there's no temperature or anything on um, So the ECU I run on it is actually on my phone. Oh, really? Um, so so I can that? see everything on my phone. Wow. wow. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. All right, I think we'll go inside and talk to the uh, the man in there. See if we can get some kind of deal going. Good, how you doing, boss? Good. Good. Nice day for riding. Yeah, all day. You know it. All day, every day. He wants to sell one of these triple R's to me. You know that? Yeah. Try to get you to ride it. Okay. You know what that is? Why don't you ride it? <laughs> bait. Yeah. Fishing line. He's throwing the bait out there. He wants me to ride it. Which, the triple R? Yeah. Oh, dude, that thing is. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little tough. Um, so, what's that? Are you on right now? Uh, four, four. Had a 2020 S1000. Oh. Somebody crashed it recently. Yeah, that's unfortunate, right? Yeah, I know. I had it run on E85, but it's fast. So, you're running E85? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can take E85 stock? No. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say. Stock. No, I, I got the. I have friend tuning to it. Okay. And uh, the, it's one of the prototype maps. Okay. It was moving, man. I seen a video, uh, a 650 e video on this, and they were running. He was running next to an R1M. Yeah. They were like exactly the same speed. Yeah. 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 I think the power on these kicks in like around like seven, eight, seven to nine, like around eight. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Around 8 is when it, 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 it starts pulling. But he was, he was going through it and hitting the gears, and the R1M was right there, and uh, that don't happen next to my S1K. <laughs> Sorry. I'm flying past R1, yeah. R1M, no matter, unless you got engine work of some sort done to it, the S1K is just going to fly past yeah. So. Kind of odd because they're saying this thing's 214 horsepower, but I don't know. I haven't seen any I gotta, dyno. I gotta yet. see it. I, I saw it dynoed uh, yeah, it in a Honda factory dyno, and it, it did 199, 199. which is uh, impressive. Because the BMW, I got I got 193 stock. Okay. And then after tuning, I, I got it. Uh, I didn't do the E85 yet, but after just a normal tune with the stock exhaust and cast it, I got 198 horsepower out of the, the meal. So it was strong. 
I think they're close. I just saw them weighed the other day. Yeah. Uh, and this was five pounds heavier than a stock in package BMW. Okay. But it says it has more power, so. Depends on the dyno, too. I think it's going to be. Uh, one of those roofs would be five pounds. Would be five pounds. Yeah, that's where five pounds comes from. Cool, like Mark Six Minutes Eve said. complained about that, too. He said a bike of this price would come with some forged aluminum roof. Something like Marsha Sheenies or something. Yeah. Or carbon fiber. Or carbon wheels. Alright, sir, I'm trying to strike a deal on Scrum. What, what do we need to do here? Which Scrum? The red one? Yeah, probably. So you have an ABS and a. That's a non ABS, correct? I think we sold the ABS. I right? think we're out of the ABS yeah. right now. Okay. Good, because I was planning on doing a bunch of stopping with it. Oh, good. Yeah. Like Don't need ABS one? for that. Yeah. Yeah, make sure it's, everything's red. Red, black, and almost white. Did you want to throw in the triple R as well? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Did you want a, a twofer, twofer deal? A twofer. How about a sponsorship? Is it is it Tuesday? It is Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. I like that. Man, I didn't even think about that. And it's election day. It is. Yeah. It is. Scary stuff. You might need to buy them now or everything can break loose tomorrow. <laughs> Those guys are going on overtime today. The sheriff? Just in case. They're going on stuff overtime. Happens. Wow. Yeah, we really should thank them for their service. They're going to... They're going to be having fun tonight. Not. Yeah, I would have to ride it, and then I would have to be convinced it's better than the BMW. And I think that's going to be a hard sell. And it's more expensive. By a lot. By a lot? More? Mm -hmm. By a lot? A lot. Because I got the most expensive one you could get, the, the M package with the carbon package on the BMW, and it was the MSRP for that one is 24.5. And it's the most expensive one you can get. This one, uh, you know, MSRP alone's got 4,000 on it. And um, I can't justify that, I don't think. Maybe, well, we, make can, a, we can have you ride it. Maybe riding it would totally change that, but um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a hard sell. <laughs> I don't know. I think you should come back with your helmet and ride it. Come back with my helmet and my suit? Yeah. Take it for a spin? Well, what size helmet are you? I don't need your gear today. I'm interested in the little bike today. It, and he has to record thing. it. He can't ride it without recording it. Yeah, he has to have his cameras. I gotta have my 360 camera on. If I'm gonna be riding the Triple R, it's gonna be an epic video, and that's how it has to be done. So I can't just do that on the. Well, let's do that. Why? Yeah, we can do that. For sure. Yeah, let's do. Let's do epic. We're in epic. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like uh, SoCal Power Sports. You know it. Yeah, the Epic, they got three triple R's. It yeah. doesn't get much better. Thank you, Tom Glass, for the intro. Yeah. Appreciate it, Tom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, you can turn that video off now. We'll discuss some business. And we'll be back with a bike or two. Maybe. Three. Might See you soon. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Are we recording? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That soft mist laying on top. All right. Where I live, we live in Arcadia. Oh yeah. No, no. Dana and I. They live in Costa Mesa. Oh, so down by the there. beaches here. Yeah, you get that thin layer of yeah. mist coming in every yep. morning. Every the morning. Yeah. Just, just ever so. Yeah. We live right at the foothill. They take the lines on All right, we're off. It's ready. It's ready. That was record timing. That was amazing. I'm very impressed here at uh, SoCal Power Force. Thank you, Matt.
Casey, do you want to walk them through this highly sophisticated uh, motorcycle? Let me get a head start on slow. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We'll take our time. Don't worry. Good morning. Oh, whoops, I don't have my mask on. Oh, wow, I don't even know where it is at this point. All right, so you're familiar with most bikes, but we're gonna do a walkthrough anyway, just because uh, pretty much you have two keys here. Uh, one has your uh, key code on it, so try not to lose that one. The other key is a key fog. Um, I know. Wow, that's piercing. That's pretty much it. The only other thing that you need to know is you don't take the seat off. The keys right here. Okay. Pretty simple. Manuals right here underneath. See, you didn't need to get that one. So. Thank you, sir. Wow. I'm excited. You know what it needs, though? Now be careful because the fire is very slick. It's a powerful fire. <laughs> Tires still have the coating. Yeah. And this animal doesn't even have traction control, right? No. Watch out. Oh, it's a rock wrong. I should probably look to see where I'm going to put this before I put it somewhere. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks great. You know what's crazy, Rob, is these things add 10 horsepower to your bike, and the thing's only 10 horsepower to start with, so I've doubled the horsepower just by this bike. Oh, hey, this isn't going to be your fastest bike, but this will be your most fun bike. Wow, okay. Guaranteed. Bold, bold statement. Guaranteed. Robert, I got a few stickers for you. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah, for your it's business. great. Great doing business with you. This has been a, a very good experience. Uh, awesome experience. They went to a Delamo recently and had a bad experience. Then they had a bad experience at First Mega Mall. And so it's kind of hard to find a dealer where you can get a good experience here in SoCal for whatever reason. It's really tough. Yeah. Well, we're not done yet, Max. We're yeah, back. we're not done yet. We're coming no. back, right? Yes, we are. You're trying to get me on the Triple R. Do you guys want to see me on the Triple R? Do you really? Yes, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Get this thing loaded up in the truck. Alright, see so you rider over there. I like this flip key. With the triple R, I don't even need the key. Oh, it's a car. I love how small and nimble these things are. Right. Easy to manage. You better start running. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you the honor. <laughs> Can you take a, a picture with uh, uh, the. Oh, you're sorry, but. 
I'm putting you on double duty here. Hey, I got one hand, baby. Oh, I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah. Put this in there too. Ah. <laughs> I can't like grip anything. Yeah, that looks good. Trailer failure, not on a brand new bike. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to. Yeah. You know, like, sorry. It's only got two wheels. So. Yeah. All right, you've got a new bike. We got a new Grom. I'll bring you guys a video tomorrow riding it. I'm gonna suit and boot up, and then we're coming back here on Thursday, and I'm gonna ride the Triple R. Robert says I'm going to be sold once I ride in, so we'll see. See what we think. Peace, peace, YouTube. We love you guys. Thanks for the support.